I'm Kat, thank you so much for joining me today for Grounding and Energising Yoga. This sequence will help you to calm scattered energy, help you feel safe and secure, and also give you a much needed energy boost. I'll see you on the mat. To begin with, come onto hands and knees. Widen your knees and bring your big toes together. Take a nice inhalation and as you exhale, sink your bottom down to your heels. Let your belly rest in between your thighs and extend your arms forward on the mat. Spread out your fingers, have your hands shoulder width apart and have a wiggle and a wobble to settle yourself into this pose. Feel your tailbone working down towards your heels. It doesn't matter if your tailbone doesn't reach the heels. Let your head roll side to side to massage your forehead on the mat, releasing and relaxing your brow, letting the earth absorb any tension in your face. Forehead soft and relaxed, jaw, lips, teeth and tongue soft and relaxed. Your awareness is with your breath and as you inhale, come back to hands and knees. Align your knees back underneath your hips directly, ankles aligned with the knees. Take a nice breath in and as you exhale, round your spine up towards the ceiling. Relax your neck, let your head hang down and sink your bottom back down to your heels into child pose. So this is similar to the last pose but this time your thighs are in a little bit so your belly rests on your thighs. And you can breathe deeply into your belly, having a nice massage for your belly against your thighs. Feel the earth supporting you. Maybe your forehead touches the mat, maybe not. You can even fold your arms underneath your forehead to support it and allow yourself to feel more grounded. Let everything go as you feel yourself melting into the mat, being supported by the earth. With your arms out in front of you, circle your wrists a few times in each direction to begin to warm them up. Keep the rest of your body nice and relaxed. And then ground your hands down shoulder width apart. Turn your palms to face upwards. This will externally rotate your shoulders. Keep drawing your shoulder blades down your back and breathe into the back of your body. Breathe in between your shoulder blades. Turn your palms to face downwards, ground them down shoulder width apart, keep drawing your shoulders down your back. Notice how you feel. As you inhale, come up to hands and knees, curl your toes under, press your hands into the earth and exhale, send your bottom up and back, stretching from hands to tailbone. You can paddle your feet deepening through alternate knees and observe the sensations that this brings you. And then come to stillness in downward dog pose. If you find that you are rounding your spine, bend your knees a bit more, you can lift the heels and imagine pointing your tailbone and your sit bones up towards the line between the ceiling and the wall. As you exhale, walk your hands towards your feet, letting your knees bend and your belly rest on your thighs. Keep pushing your tailbone up. So the knees bend enough that you can rest your belly on the thighs, but you still feel a nice stretch in the backs of your legs. Take hold of your opposite elbow in front of you. Relax your upper body, hanging like a rag doll. Legs feel strong, heels grounded into the earth. And then bringing your hands onto your shins and inhale as you lift your collarbone up and forward, flat back. Then exhale, round down. Inch at your hips, sweep your arms around and up as you come all the way up. Inhale at the top, gentle back bend. Look up at your thumbs and exhale your hands down in front of your heart. Bring your hands onto your hips, thumbs on the back of the pelvis, fingertips on the inner hip bones. And then checking that your feet are parallel, heel behind the widest part of the foot, feet inner hip distance apart, rocking forwards and backwards on your feet, making each rock smaller each time until your feet are nice and evenly grounded down. Bring your awareness to your pelvis and tilt the pelvis forwards and backwards, making each tilt smaller each time until you feel that the pelvis is level like a bowl of water that's not spilling forward or back. 
Take a step forward with your right foot and imagine a line coming out the back of your right heel. Turn your left foot so that the inner arch intersects that line. You're going to bend through your right knee, stacking the knee directly over the ankle, but make sure that that right knee isn't twisting in towards the middle of the mat. So if you find that knee twisting and not stacked directly over the ankle, then turn your back toes in a little bit and then you can bring your back hip around so that the right knee stacks directly over the right ankle and is aligned with the second and third right toe. Lengthen your stance if you want more challenge. Keep rolling that right thigh out in an external spiral of rotation. Feel that your body is centered evenly between the two feet. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height and straighten your front leg, palms up. Exhale, sink your body down, hands to your hips as you bend through your right knee, stacking the knee over the ankle. Inhale, palms up, arms up to shoulder height, straighten the front leg and exhale, sink your weight down again, bending through your right knee. Your legs feel strong and supportive. Can you feel your pelvic floor lifting? Again, inhaling, straightening the arms out to shoulder height, straighten the front leg, then exhale, bend through the right knee, stacking the knee over the ankle. Keep that knee there. As you inhale, your arms up to shoulder height, palms up to begin with, then turn the palms down. Look at your right middle finger. Keep your shoulder blades sliding down your back. Your weight is centered between your two feet. Don't let your upper body lean forward like warrior in a hurry. You're nice and centered. Be aware of your pelvic floor, that hammock of muscle at the base of your body. Feel it supporting you here. Exhale and reach your left hand down your back leg. Inhale your right arm up. Exhale, reach your back arm further down your leg as you reach your top arm up and over. Keep breathing. Your front knee stays stacked directly over the front ankle, not letting that knee twist in. And reaching your front arm up and over. Delicious deep side stretch. You might like to tuck your chin and look up towards your top arm. Keep reaching your back hand down your back leg as far as you can. Both feet feel grounded. On your next inhalation, cartwheel your arms back to shoulder height, palms up. Exhale as the palms face down, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale and exhale as you extend your body forward over your front knee without lunging more deeply through your front knee. So the body extends from the hips. Let your right arm fall wherever it naturally does onto the right thigh and reach your left arm up and over your head. Imagine being a diagonal line from the top hand to the outside edge of your back foot. You could release your right arm. You're not putting any weight down through that right arm. It is your core that's doing the work here. This is extended right angle pose. Feel as though you can breathe evenly into both sides of your rib cage. One more round of breath here, then dropping your top arm down, bring your hands back onto your hips as you lengthen back to center. Turn both feet towards the long edge of your mat, heel behind the widest part of the foot. Feet are parallel. We're coming into a wide leg forward fold. So nice inhalation as you lengthen your spine. And exhale, hinge forward at your hips, keeping your lower back flat. Let your knees bend as much as they need to, to keep the lower back flat. Don't let your tailbone tuck under. So if you do find that your tailbone's tucking under and your weight is rocking back into your heels, then bend your knees a bit more, bring your weight forwards and see if you can straighten your legs a little bit more. It's okay if they don't get completely straight. Inhale, walk your hands forward, bend your knees a bit more and lift your chest as if you were making your back flat like a tabletop. Exhale, round down, straighten your legs as much as you can. Inhale, lift your collarbone up and forward, bend your knees a bit more, make your back flat like a table. And then exhale, straighten your legs as much as you can. Push your tailbone up, relax your upper body down. Inhaling, lifting your collarbone up and forward. Straighten your arms, bend the knees a bit more, flat back. And then exhale, relax your upper body down, push the tailbone up, work the legs as straight as you can. Take your time, one more round like this on your inhalation, straightening your arms, lifting your collarbone up and forward, sinking through your knees a little more and exhaling, straightening your knees. 
Bring your hands onto your hips and hinge at your hips as you sink through your knees a bit more and come all the way up to standing. Turn your left toes out to the side, left heel aligned with the inner arch of the right foot. Bend through your left knee, stacking the knee over the ankle. You might need to bring your right toes in a little. Warrior two position. Inhale your arms up to shoulder height, palms up as you straighten your front leg. Don't let the knee lock though. And exhale, sink through your front knee as you bring your hands to your hips, stacking your left knee over your ankle. Continue with your breath. Inhale, lifting your arms up to shoulder height, palms face up as you straighten your front leg. And exhale, bend your front knee, bring your hands to your hips. Inhaling up and exhaling down. And as you sink down, imagine keeping your weight centered between your two feet. Keep your left knee stacked over your ankle and inhale your arms up to shoulder height, palms up to begin with, then turn palms down, looking at your left middle finger, keeping your shoulders sliding down your back and away from your ears, extending from fingertip to fingertip. Exhale your right hand down your right leg, inhale your left arm up, peaceful warrior. Your left knee stays stacked over your left ankle. Reach your back arm down your leg, reach your front arm up, breathe. You might tuck your chin to look up towards your left upper arm. Face and jaw relaxed. Cartwheel your arms back to shoulder height, palms face down and extend over your front leg not lunging more deeply through the knee. Think of extending from your hips and lengthening the left side of your body. Then we're going to drop the left arm down to the left thigh, but not putting any weight through that left arm. Reach your right arm up, maybe tucking your chin and turning to look up towards your right upper arm or keep your head centered. Make sure you're long through the underside of your body. Keep your top shoulder blade drawing down your back, reaching up and over your head. Imagine being a long diagonal line from top fingertips to the outside edge of your back foot. When you're ready, cartwheel your arms back to centre, bring your hands to your hips and turn both feet to the long edge of your mat's parallel feet. Inhale and exhale, hinge forward at your hips, letting your knees bend as much as they need to to keep your lower back flat. Here we are again in fan pose. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, walk your hands over towards your right foot. So the right side of your belly will be resting on your right thigh. It's okay for your knees to be bent. And still pushing your tailbone up towards the sky as your heels ground down. Your upper body and your neck are nice and relaxed. Inhale, bring your upper body back to centre and then exhale, walk your hands over to the left foot. Upper body relaxing down, left side of your belly on your thigh, tailbone pushing up towards the sky. Okay for your knees to be bent a little bit. Thinking of your legs strong and your upper body just spilling out of the top of the pelvis. And then inhaling yourself back to the center. Bring your hands onto your hips, sink through your knees as you come all the way up to standing. Turn your right foot towards the long edge of the mat. Right knee stays straight and bring your back hip and back toes around so that you're not twisting through your right knee. Inhale your arms up to shoulder height, turn the palms down and extend over your right leg, shifting your right hip back towards you and popping your left hip up. Then cartwheeling your right hand down and let it fall anywhere that it does onto the right leg, reaching your left arm up. So you want to make sure that you're not locking straight through your right leg. You could have a tiny micro bend in your right knee. You might like to tuck your chin and look up at your top hand or look down at your bottom foot. This is triangle pose. Keep grounding down through the outside edge of your back foot. Imagine that the back arch is lifting. Imagine you could tear the mat in half with your feet. Draw your tummy in and as you inhale, come back to center, cartwheeling your arms out to shoulder height and then reaching down your back leg with your back arm and reaching up and over with your front arm into a reverse triangle pose. So a really nice side stretch for the front of your body. You can tuck your chin and look up if that feels right. Keep breathing, keep drawing that front hip back. 
and then bringing yourself back to center, bring your hands to your hips. Turn both feet to the long edge of the mat and hinge forward at your hips into fan pose again. Let your upper body relax forward, spinning out of your hips. And then walking your hands forward so that your back is long. Place your left hand directly under your chest. Take your right hand to your sacrum. You're going to keep this area flat. Take a nice breath in and exhale. Twist your upper body to the right. So you're gently pushing into the floor with your left hand. You can keep your top hand on your hip, on your sacrum to be aware that it's flat or maybe reach it up into the air if that feels right for your body. Keep rolling your right shoulder back. You might tuck your chin and look up. And then exhale your left hand down. Take a nice breath in as you lengthen your spine and twisting your upper body to the left as you exhale. Maybe reaching that top arm up, maybe keeping it on your hip or maybe placing it just on your sacrum to work that area flat. It is tricky to keep that sacrum flat. Try not to let the left hip raise up more. But whatever your practice looks like, it's great that you're doing yoga, so keep persevering, placing your hands down and relaxing your upper body forward. Bring your hands onto your hips, draw your tummy in, sink through your knees as you come all the way up to standing. Turning your left foot to the narrow edge of the mat, bringing your back toes in accordingly, extending your arms out to shoulder height and extending over your left leg as you shift your left hip back towards you, popping your right hip up so the pelvis is on a slant and really reaching and extending both sides of the body. Reach, reach, reach your left arm forward, then cartwheeling your arms down and your left hand rests wherever it naturally settles on that left leg. It doesn't matter where. The important thing is that you're long through both sides of the body, including the underside. You feel as though you're sandwiched between two sheets of glass. So make sure that you're not tipping forward at your hips. You're on a single plane. You could imagine your back was flat against a wall. Triangle pose. And when you're ready, cartwheeling back up and coming into your reverse triangle. So reaching your back arm down your back leg, reaching your front arm up and over. Beautiful deep side stretch. The front leg stays straight, but it's not locking through the knee. So a little tiny micro bend in the knee is great. Feet grounding down. And then coming back to center, bring your hands to your hips. Turn both feet towards the long edge of the mat. Take a nice breath in and hinge forward at the hips. Relaxing your upper body down. And then this time taking hold of your ankles with fingers on the inside, thumbs on the outside. This arm position internally rotates the shoulders and is a welcome stretch for latissimus dorsi muscles, which we use to draw the shoulder blades down the back in so many other poses. And this is a really good way to release the muscles of your back and let your neck muscles relax. So let your upper body feel really heavy here. And as we come into fan pose for the fourth time in the class today, Maybe you're able to draw yourself a little deeper into it this time. Maybe taking hold of your calves with your forearms and drawing yourself a little deeper into the fold. Relax your upper body. Let your head hang down. Bring your hands back to your hips, sink through your knees, draw your tummy in and hinge up at your hips. Walking your feet in a bit, keep them parallel but a bit wider than your hips. Take a nice breath in and exhale, hinge forward at your hips, coming into a slightly wide legged forward fold and taking hold of your ankles again with your fingers on the inside, thumbs on the outside, really releasing your upper body. Sink your bottom down, coming into squat pose, bringing palms to touch in front of your heart and your elbows nudge your knees apart. It's okay for your heels to lift. Then letting your bottom come down to the floor and giving your knees a big hug in cosmic egg pose. Maybe your toes are lifted off the floor, maybe they just rest gently on the mat. Just let yourself breathe, feel connected with the earth, face and draw relax. Feeling supported by the earth and by yourself too. Come into your comfortable cross-legged position with palms to touch in front of your heart. Face and jaw relaxed, observing how you feel. Bring your thumbs to your third eye point and gently bow your head. Then bringing your hands to your heart center again. 
Thank you for practicing yoga with me today. Namaste.